Welcome back. I'm Dan the Dinosaur Drawer. And today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw a muscled Tyrannosaurus Rex. So I'm going to be using this as my reference image. We're not going to be labeling our muscles or anything, but we are going to be drawing them. So the first step to drawing dinosaur muscles, putting in a outline or a skeletal thing, first of all, and then we will work on the muscle after that. So I'll put the ground here for our outline. I'm using some watercolor paper, by the way, and my Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil. So let's see what size we're gonna want this to be. I have the head that size. Jaw's gonna be opened like so. Have the neck come here. Back. So the hips are gonna be one leg coming down here. Thigh bone, ankle, foot. It's got this pelvis, the ribs. So remember, this is just a quick outline for the muscle. Now I've done several muscle drawings already, so I'm already practiced doing this. It is rather hard one to uh, the first time because it's a weird style of drawing. You're drawing like a bunch of lines, no scales. You still do a lot of shading, I guess. So yeah, I have the eye right there. So that's the basic skeletal outline for drawing dinosaur muscle. Now we'll move on to starting with the head and moving this way to get the rest of it muscled out. So yeah, now we're going to tackle the head. Transverse is a very fun head to draw. Definitely the most powerful jaws of any dinosaur. See, so I'll have one line like so, have it curve right about here, come back and get a little wider over here. I'm going to get out my eraser, erase some of the lines we do not need. I will actually be right about there. So when we're drawing muscle, we're going to show the bone in the places where the muscles, muscles are not covering the bone. We're not just doing muscles, we're actually drawing Basically the anatomy, everything but the skin is what we're drawing. So the nose right about there. It's gonna have sort of a bunch of bony stuff, studs sticking out. Above the snout, above the snout there, it's got a large eye ridge. Almost like an eyebrow, but not really. Got little eye cavity right about here. One more cavity in the skull back right here. So people think that transverse rex and other theropods have these cavities to lighten the weight of the skull. Otherwise, it'd be quite a bunch of tremendous amount of weight for the neck to carry. Especially when a lot of those theropods have very thin necks. Like transverse rex had a very strong neck compared to most other dinosaurs. So it could definitely hold its head up. But for a dinosaur like Gignotosaurus, it's got more of a slender neck. And that's why its skull is lighter. So that looks pretty good for the top. We're going to be putting in the teeth now. Put in those teeth. So I think Tyrannosaurus Rex, people say it usually, people usually say it has, I think, 60 teeth. That's quite a lot of teeth. So this is the first muscle we're putting in. It's the one that opens and closes the bottom jaw. So we want to have the bottom jaw slightly shorter than the top jaw because it fits inside nice and snug. So yeah, that's one other cool characteristic about Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's got a very, very strong bottom jaw much thicker than most of the other theropods. This might be a little short. See, let's get that length correct. 
want to have this get it sort of thin right about here. I think it's a little larger over on the back end. So you want to have one line coming here. So I think Rock Hansbury was the one who commented for me to do this video. So thank you for that comment. I was not sure. I'd mentioned it in the some other videos, but no one really wanted it. But Rock Hansbury recently commented that he wanted me to do a video on drawing dinosaur muscles, so I decided to make this video. <laughs> so I won't have some more muscle right about here. So we're still going to be doing shading, even though we're just doing muscle. So let's shade the bottom of the jaw here, like so. Let's sort of give these little indentations that we find on the bottom jaw. So I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but there was a new discovery of a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex found in Montana, I believe. So if you've not already checked that out, I may have a link to it below. I read the whole article. Very interesting find. Scientists say they're not sure if, it, if it's a baby Tyrannosaurus Rex or it could be a new species or something like that. Most likely it's baby Tyrannosaurus rex, which will be cool because we don't find young dinosaurs that often. And they can help us find more, yeah, just more about Tyrannosaurus rex. So I actually have this cavity a little, a little longer. So I have the eye and the pupil there. See, it looks kind of weird having an eye in the skeleton, or in the skull there. So we want to shade around these cavities, which will be f filled with like blood vessels and tissue and stuff. So don't make them look hollow, because they're not. We put some of these little indentations. So yeah, pretty much looks like we're pretty much done with the skull here. Now we can go on to the neck. So the neck has got some really powerful muscles to carry that huge set of head and jaws. So I'm going to put the neck in, like so. It's basically as thick as the head, right about here. Then the shoulders start right there. So rather it's got a rather short neck compared to other dinosaurs. So we're going to have this line here. This, there's a huge muscle that goes from the back all the way to the right to the shoulder there and up to the neck. It's called the trapezius muscle. I've got my chart here without labeling all the different muscles. There, well, we're we're going to work from left to right, so we'll fill in these muscles first before we complete the trapezius. So this muscle here, it's on the top of the neck, it's called the spinalis capitis. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So have that muscle put in. So basically when you're drawing muscles, you just draw a bunch of lines. It's not that hard. See yeah, muscles pull stuff together along with the tendons and stuff. So that's what causes your body to be able to move and your hand to be able to grip. They're really fascinating. If you Studying anatomy is quite cool. And with dinosaurs we're almost always guessing because we have very few and you can sort of see the the scars on the muscle on the bones where the muscles attached, but a lot of the muscles are guesses. We can um, look at birds and crocodiles and animals that were similar to dinosaurs and look at their muscles, and that's how paleo artists reconstruct dinosaurs. Because you first have to do the muscles before you do the skin. You have to know how the muscles work. 
Yeah, so just recently, I got into drawing dinosaur muscles because a few, um, yeah, some paleontologist people say that you have to know the anatomy first before you can present your work and say that it's accurate. So that, that's what I've been studying these days, this dinosaur anatomy, which is quite cool, but quite limited as well. So now we're going to be working a little bit on the trapezius, the muscle that extends all the way across the back. It's got a very triangular type shape. So yeah, we'll take our erasers and erase the smudge lines and all the stuff we don't need in this area. So yeah, if you do have shading pencils, then I recommend you use them. They can be, they can make your job a little easier. But this mechanical pencil or any regular drawing device will work fine. So yeah, basically you want to have all these lines coming from this center and spreading out across the, the back, shoulders, and neck. So, and then I'll take my shading pencil here, give it some refinement, some shading actually, because gotta have shading. That's what makes drawings look more three-dimensional. So I'll probably have at the end of the video. Uh, I don't think you guys have seen that drawing I did of Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton, muscles, and then skin quite a large drawing, but it's my most recent project. I'll probably post something on my Google Plus community this week about that. So, yeah, now once we're done with the shading, we can work on the on the arms here. So I'm planning to do a few videos on Jurassic World Evolution Xbox game, which is coming out very soon. I'm not sure if some of you guys already have it. But they have some cool looking dinosaurs that look very realistic. So I thought that would be a cool game to do some drawings from. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna put this shoulder muscle in there. Then we're gonna put in the arm. So the arm is a little little more complicated because it's so small. This is one muscle over here. This back muscle is called the triceps. Then the one over here, I'm sure you all know, is called the biceps. It's the muscle you always see people like flexing. Triceps can are usually can push more weight. So if you're bench pressing like a barbell, you use your triceps and your chest. So we're gonna put this little ligament or is it a tendon? I'm not sure. It wraps around the the wrist there. I'll have all the forearm muscles. So basically, your hand doesn't really have that many muscles in it. The forearm is what opens and closes your hand and gives it all the movement. So if you open and close your hand right now, you'll see your forearm muscles moving, all these muscles over here. Someone with really stro strong forearms will have a really strong grip. So we'll put in the claws, as usual. Now we can put in the other arm. So yeah, the reference image I'm using is done by Scott Hartman. He does a lot of skeletal reconstructions of mostly theropod dinosaurs. But anytime you look up like T-Rex skeleton, for instance, you'll see a lot of his reconstructions and they're really, really cool. I use them all the time for when I'm doing, like when I'm gonna draw a dinosaur. I look at the skeleton that he's drawn already. Then I do my sketch based off his skeleton. They're really helpful. 
So I sort of messed up on this cloth. I'm gonna erase that, redo it. So yeah, those arms look very cool. Now we're gonna put in the stomach. Transverse has got like a very barrel type shape body. I heard that people, some scientists say that Tyrannosaurus probably had to eat like a few, few thousand pounds a day or something like that. But maybe it was 500 pounds. It was a lot of weight. Just to run and sustain this body, Tyrannosaurus Rex must have taken enormous amounts of carbohydrates. Especially an active T-Rex. So we're gonna have this one muscle coming this way. And actually let's put in the abdominals first. So these are the abs right here of the Tyrannosaurus. The core as some people call it. Put those, the abs in right there. Once we're done with those, we'll put in the serratus, which is a right next to the abs. I'm going to just do these lines that go up like so. I had this funny comment the other day where someone said, you talk too much in your videos or something like that. So I'm not sure if you guys would like me to talk more, talk, narrate less. It all depends on what you guys like. So we're going to have some lines coming down this way. They sort of fold into the serratus. So sort of a race right about here. See, they sort of fold in, or these overlap the serratus. Now this muscle, this muscle is not labeled, so I can't really tell you what it's called. I'm going to use my shading pencil right here to give it a darker tone. Get these lines a little darker. Maybe even this line. So I know a lot of you struggle with um, smearing. We all do. So a lot of times what I recommend is just putting a piece of paper under your hand. That tends to help prevent smearing. Because a lot of my nice drawings are ruined by smearing, and then I have to try and erase. And the eraser sometimes will ruin the detail that I had put in. See, I just put like a paper or something. I've seen some people put like a clear sheet under, which is a really cool idea. Or even just like a clear folder. Like one thing, a sheet out of those folders. Like a school folder, I'm not sure, I can't really remember what they're called. So actually we're missing one muscle, the terrace I think, this, this erased right about here, forgot about this one, it's right next to the trapezius, it stems down to the armpit area right about there. It's quite a narrow muscle. Put that in. Now we can finish these lines. Connect them in there. So yeah, for the 
external obliques. I think that's what this is called. Just do a bunch of lines going in this direction. You got at least some room for the thigh. T-Rex had really massive thighs to be able to carry its weight. It's like definitely one of the biggest two-legged beasts ever to walk the earth. Like alive today, I'm not sure what's the biggest two-legged animal. Could be the human, I'm not sure. Kangaroos. So now we can focus on the legs. As you can see, I just put in this muscle here. Right there. So now we're pretty much done with the whole stomach and back. Now we can put in the, or at least we're gonna we're gonna erase our outline that we put in there. So yeah, as I said, T Rex has a huge thigh, huge thighs to be able to carry up that large amount of weight. So they're gonna look quite bulging. I used to draw dinosaur legs or the thighs way too thin. Now that I look at my old drawings, I'm like, no way that could have held up the dinosaur. Like the one on my that my channel are right now. Thighs are way too small. I should change that picture. I need to get a uh, new channel art. But speaking of, I would like to uh, request you guys to submit your own channel like art ideas to my email, which is Danny the Dinosaur Drawer at gmail.com. Quite easy to remember, just my name, Danny the Dinosaur Drawer at gmail.com, no spaces. And just like submit a bunch of my drawings sort of photoshopped together. Then my, uh, then a uh, nice red letters, Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, something like that. So this is your chance to get your art feature, or yeah basically your photoshop work of my drawings and stuff onto my channel art and I'll probably, you can put your name in the corner or something like that and I'll upload it onto my channel for probably a few months so yeah I'd love if you guys could do that, submit a bunch I, could, I don't know if any of you guys will do it I think it would be really cool if you guys would do some cool photoshop work with my do, putting a bunch of drawings together. Something like, I'm not sure if you've seen Beanie Draws' his channel art, but it's really cool. And I'd like something similar to that. But I'm not especially good at putting drawings together, like blending them. So yeah, basically I'm saying I'd highly appreciate if someone could make me some channel art and send it to my email at dannythedinosaurdrawer at gmail.com. Also, if you'd like a free dinosaur print sent to you, you can send me your address to the same email, drawer at gmail.com, and I will send you a drawing of a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a photocopy. So far, very few people have asked for them. Some people have asked, Danny, do you sell like your art? I do not currently sell my art, but I, I do give away free copies, so if you'd like that, I'd be happy to send you one, no matter what country you're living in. I'll just use like international postage. Also, if you've not checked me out on Patreon, I highly recommend you do so. Basically, it's just a place where you can support my art. Also, once you're done with this drawing of the Tyrannosaurus Rex with muscle, no matter how it turned out, I'd love to see your results. You can either send me an email or you can post them on my dinosaur art community called Dinosaur Art. 
It's on Google Plus. So you just search dinosaur art on the Google Plus search engine, and I'm the top community that shows up. So no matter if you're, it's a terrible drawing or something like that, I'd love to see how your drawing turned out. But it's really, I always find, think it's really cool to see that people actually drew the drawings. Like I see views on my videos and all, but I like it most when I actually see the results of my tutorial. I've already seen quite a bunch of stunning drawings that you guys have created. You're, you all are certainly very talented. So yeah, after we're done with this part of the leg, the calf, we are going to be working a bit on the foot. Have this claw. So basically we're going to be doing the tendons and all. But you can basically see the foot through the... This is the tendon above the bone. You can see the, the bone, that's what I'm trying to say. So I have those toes done correctly. I'm going to put some padding on the bottom, like so. Similar to your, the bottom of your finger, you see the padding there. We'll also put in the claws. I often wonder if T-Rex ever used its like its feet in fighting or something like that. Probably not. It's a cool idea. So put in the foot like that. So I didn't narrate that well this part of the process, so I was just talking. <laughs> so we basically put in the thigh, which I may have made a little too thick right here. And probably a little too short as well. But yeah, we want to put in the heel. It's got a very high heel. There, and this foot is sort of bent back. Once again, we're going to put in the padding there. Put in some more ligaments and tendons. So I'm not doing the most detailed job with all the tendons and stuff because I don't know that much about them yet. Still to research a little more on that. I got the muscle down pretty well, but not the tendons and all that. So yeah, now I've got this. This foot is almost done. I want to have other toe, right about there. So remember, this dinosaur is not covered with skin. So once it has the skin, it'll probably look a little larger. See, so yeah, now we're going to move on to work on the tail. So yeah, the tail is probably the easiest part to draw. It's quite simple. T-Rex definitely had a powerful tail, as we can see by all the muscle. I'm not sure if you guys can see the tip there. It's right about there. So I make a nice, powerful tail. It's nice, thin at the end. T-Rex used this tail to balance itself. It's kind of funny how the old artists used to draw T-Rex with its tail dragging on the ground. 
but we know that the T-Rex did not do that since there have been dinosaur tracks found like of lots of different theropods and none of them have like tail marks dragging on the ground and this is quite obviously the mo more reasonable pose for Tyrannosaurus Rex I don't know how it would be able to kill something while it's standing up like a human with its tail dragging on the ground it's amazing how fast people's ideas about science change one minute like people would be proposing one idea that it'll be disproved and then like 10 years later so you want to get the shape of this tail down correctly it's got one thick line here on here and now there are actually no labels for the muscles on the tail I know there's like a triangular type thing there's like these little triangles I don't know on the top part of the tail some type of muscle they don't have it labeled in, in the reference image I'm looking at Just put those in. And it's starting to get smaller. They're smaller like so. And then disappear. So I have the lines coming this way. Basically all across that part of the tail. We'll have this line nice and defined. Separate the two grains, the two angles that the muscles are coming from. So our drawing is basically completed now. All we have to do is maybe put a little bit of ground beneath it, sort of a shadow, I guess. I'm using this dark shading pencil for that. So yeah, the whole thing looks pretty good. Might have messed up on the legs and made them a little too small, but that's okay. I'm really anxious to know what your drawing turned out, how your drawing turned out, so please post it with haste on my dinosaur art community on Google+. I'd love to see how it turned out. And yeah, sign your drawing. I'll usually sign mine in this corner over here. Put the date, and you're all set. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video on how to draw a dinosaur muscle. If you have, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more drawing tutorials, please comment below what you'd like me to draw next. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.